Hey guys and girls, my name's Alan and welcome to today's chess opening video. So, first off, I'd like to wish everyone a very happy new year. Uh, we're in 2017 now, can you believe it? 2016 is done and dusted. Um, so yeah, I mean, did you get anything fun New Year's Eve? Let me know in the comment section below. I didn't do anything particularly interesting. I mean, as I said in the previous video, I did have work on the New Year's Eve and then New Year's Day and I was also working the day after New Year's Day as well, so not a lot of free time recently. So yeah, I mean, I just set up much fireworks pretty standard um I, I didn't really fancy going out as i said i've worked the next day anyway so i couldn't have stayed out too long even though i'd gone out so i thought i'd just stay and have a quiet one um pretty boring anyway so this video is two parts but it's uh, it's merged together so the first part you'll see is of me opening some uh, dlc gameplay chests and uh, you'll see what i get in those in those chests and then the second part will be so because this video is all about DLC, well, I'm going to title it as DLC chess opening. I'm going to open a few DLC vanity chests. I know, shock horror. Who'd have thought, right? So I'm going to open a few of those and keep it strictly DLC content. But I will open a few uh, hero weapon variants towards the end as well because I want to try and get some hero weapons and uh, I don't want to really record another video just separately for that. So as you can see, these are the new prices. I did go over them in uh, my new shop episode, but... If you've yet to see the prices or the video, then here they are. So, gameplay chests have come down by 500, so they're now 2,500 instead. Um, DLC premium uh, vanity items have come down a lot. These were like 3,000 as well. So, these are half price now. And these are permanent prices as far as I know. Um, DLC vanity chests, I think they were, what was it 2,000 or something like that? Maybe 1.5. Um, but they've come down quite a bit as well. Actually, maybe they were 600, half price. Maybe that's what they've done for both of them. Boosters stay the same, hero weapons stay the same, the rest all stay the same, it's just the DLC stuff that's come down. So I've got 10,000 exactly in my bank account as you can see, and so that means I can fight 4 chests exactly. And if I inspect it, I still need the Shield of Asgard, which I don't really care for, the M4, which I do want. Pack 80, which I'm interested to try, so I wouldn't mind getting that. The Deagle, well, I suppose I can live without that, so if I get that last, then I don't mind too much. But then, the two at the bottom, I definitely want as well, I want to try these two out for sure, so... Um, yeah, don't want that. Not too fussed about the desert. I want the other. so ideally, I'd get the M4, the Pack 80, and then the two pistols um, out of the 10k that I'm about to spend. But uh, who knows? Anyway, let's see what we get. Para and the my. Oh shit! I didn't know they come in the same one. I thought it was just, well, I think for the main weapons it's going to be one each, but that's great. So I've got two of the pistols, and that means I've got four items left. And I can buy three more uh, three more chests. So that means I'm going to get at least two of the main weapons. Nice. Alright. So now I've got like a, I've got a 60% chance of getting the uh, M4. Oh, let's go! Check it out. That's it. I've got everything I want then. But I might as well spend the, the last uh, 2,500. Uh, hopefully, give me the Deagle. But I guess I'm not too fussed either way. But I would prefer the Deagle, please. Oh, snap. Possibly the luckiest op Well, okay, maybe, maybe lucky too strong, but definitely a good opening. Uh, chest opening. I got everything I wanted basically so can't ask for more than that and so I've only got the shield of Asgard left that I don't own I can see I've already unlocked the rest that's mad I've got everything I wanted cool thanks store appreciate it alright so uh, I've got zero relics but I've got everything I wanted so I guess I can just go back to grinding the game I want to start off by opening the free chests that I get from like leveling up and stuff like that. There's a few that I've got from leveling up in co-op and I think one from multiplayer. So I'll do those two first. Well, those few first. And then a few DLC vanity item chests and then a few hero weapons. And then in the next video I'll probably return to like hero weapons and standard like vanity item chests. Because I'm actually quite close to maxing those out so I really want to try and do that. Anyway, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so gameplay wise, if I just show you quickly, I'm just missing one item and that's just the Shield of Asgard. I'm not going to use it, so there's no point in me doing it, uh, and who knows, they might even drop the price again in the future anyway, which is what they did last time, which is a bit annoying, so I'm going to wait for a sale now, if they are going to do it, and then I'll buy it, if not, I'll just get it before the next DLC drops. Um, but as you can see, I do have several of these one-use survival booster chests to open, 
and these contain said items. So you might have seen players activate these in matches and you're wondering where the hell they get them from. Uh, well, but basically you get them from the chests. Now, if you look at the menu, it does say that you can purchase these, well, the ones above it directly with uh, Uncharted points. Uh, and so I'm just wondering to know if you can actually buy these with just normal relics or you have to spend like real world money on it. And if that's the case, then that's a bit cheeky and I don't approve of that. But uh, we'll find out once I get these open. So let's get started. So no new chest, it's just the same design as the, uh, the booster chest from the other one. So cheaper gear, yeah, cheaper revive. So as you can see there are two variants, you've got the individual ones and then you've got the team variant. So if you buy it for the team, not only do you get the benefits but your teammates get them as well. And if you buy a single, obviously it's just you. But if you're using say a team one and, well let's say, okay, let's say you're using a single one and a teammate is using a team one, the the, the the effects do stack. So you get like, not 100% off, but you get like, uh, it's a, it says multiplicative. So it's 50% times by another 50%. So effectively, it's, I think it's 75% off then in that case. Um, so it's quite good. I mean, as I said in uh, one of the court videos I did, I don't really struggle with cash, to be honest. Um, especially if, you, if you've got good players on your team, it's rare that you run out of money. At least you shouldn't really run out of money unless you're spendy happy. Some of the random teammates might have activated them, but I haven't, so it's not like something I feel you need to, to do well in the game. Alright, I'll probably just speed through these, because uh, I imagine it's all going to be the same sort of stuff just over and over again. You get quite a lot though, which is what I've noticed. You only get like, what, four? In it? Well, I guess there's only four in multiplayer anyway, but that's a good one, Phoenix Rising. So your whole team gets instantly revived if everyone goes down. You don't have to deactivate it, it just it just kicks in automatically. If you don't use it, then it, it still stays, basically. So it's not activated until you actually physically use it. So it stays in your inventory until your whole team goes down. And if you complete the stage without using it, then it gets put back into your uh, inventory slot. It's probably one of the better ones to use, but as I said, uh, if you've got a good team, then you shouldn't be going down too much anyway. So probably a bit better for using uh, maybe a cheaper mystical so that's quite a good one you save a lot of money there especially when it comes to things like the eldorado uh and then also cheaper heavy weapons it's a nice one to have just che things in general cheaper cheaper gear is kind of hit and miss because they're not that expensive to start off with yeah so this is one of the better ones cheaper revive um i mean to be fair there's no bad ones cheaper anything is always good uh, Phoenix Rising is decent for the harder difficulties. Uh, the team ones are obviously beneficial to everyone, not just yourself, so that's always nice. Yeah, so I'll just, I'll just blitz through these quickly because they're all going to be the same sort of stuff. Yeah, so there's still quite a lot more that I want to talk about in terms of co-op, and I will release a few more co-op videos in the coming days and weeks. Um, but there's just a few things I've noticed as I've, as I've played it prolonged um, that I wanted to bring up, and so I'll talk about those, obviously, as I said, in the next few videos. So I've since used some of the DLC weapons that you've seen uh, that I unlocked a little bit earlier. Uh, so there'll be gameplay for that going up and obviously the new maps as well. I want to get some decent gameplay on those. Right, so those are all... Ah! Okay, so you can only buy them within Chai points. That's a little bit naughty there, Naughty Dog. That's a little bit cheeky. I'm not, I don't approve of that. I'd rather they've made it like relics only but high value. Because this... Well, I'm not going to spend real money points on it, but some people will. And that gives an advantage when it comes to completing harder difficulties on a faster time especially when they've got like cheaper everything stacked together and the whole team's using them no don't approve of that they need to change that in my opinion okay so i'm gonna switch over to the multiplayer store now and i've only got one free chest to open and that's a multiplayer booster chest and that's only i've only leveled up once basically i'm quite high level now so it takes a while for me to rank up between rounds and also i've been playing quite a lot of co-op as well so there is that in general, I don't really use my one-use boosters. I don't feel the need to. Um, until you play a game, you don't know how difficult it's going to be. And at that point, you can't activate a booster. And then by the time the match is over, the lobby normally changes anyway. So, Alright, so I'll do, let's say, 10 of these. And then I'll do maybe a few hero weapons. So I haven't bought any of these items, as you can see. I don't buy any of the DLC stuff. But since the price has come down on the chest, I figure... Why not, right? And there's a few camos in here that are really decent, so yeah, I haven't unlocked any of it as you can see. And so I'm going to open, yeah, let's say 10 of these. Just watch, there'll be like a price drop as soon as I've started opening these. Ooh, that's interesting. Ah, so it's a nice different chest, okay. Nice. Not so nice. 
Alright, that looks terrible. How does that look? I don't. What is that? Clean casual cutter. Who has that casual? Berry nut. Ah, oh, so these are the new. Um, I think. Oh wait, is it? I think these are like the new color palettes. So you've got was it fifty per character, and now you've got to unlock each one. Bloody hell! Yeah, these are the new color palettes. Jesus Christ! How many? Oh my word! That's why they dropped the price of the bloody chests. Because they've added all these in, haven't they? Oh my word, that's going to take forever to unlock. Berry Rock Climbing Tenzin. Oh my life. Actually, I can't remember how many colour variants it is per person. It's like 20 or something stupid like that. Wolf Head. Huh. Prim Nathan Drake. Regal. Oh. oh my life. Eccentric Eddie. So this is one of like the custom skins presets. Well, at least I got that one right. Eccentric. Designer shades. Quite a lot of the ones I've already got. Thank you very much. I earned those. These look alright though, to be fair. If I didn't already have my other ones. What the hell, man? How many of these climbing tendons do I want? Smoke suited Marlow. Not that smoky. I'd have said like, br I don't know, that's a brown, surely. Flare, oh my life. That looks terrible. <laughs> Trousers though. Military helmet. Looks very similar to the biker helmet. Just a different shade of colour. Snug beanie. Very boring. Marauder mask. I don't really get this one. I've seen people use it and it just looks, to me, it looks silly, but I don't know. Sepia. Oh man, that is not a flattering colour. Well, I don't think it's very good. See, this is why I don't open DLC stuff. Because I want to sound like really moany. <laughs> I'm just conscious of how I'm sounding. Apocalypse Sam. It looks kind of okay, I suppose. Why can't I get some like camos and stuff? That's what all I want. I don't care about this stuff. Like really? Oh come on. Now you're just taking the piss. Oh, okay. This one's better. Panda. Black and white theme going on. I'm digging that one. Okay. Hunting t oh my word. How light is that? What kind of shade of green is that? I've had like one decent thing so far out of the seven or eight chests I've opened. Peachy, oh my word, what is that? That looks horrific. Nope, they all look horrific. Oh my word. <laughs> oh dear. Oh gosh, alright, I'm probably just going to stop talking now because if you don't have anything positive to say, don't say it at all. That one looks okay, I suppose. Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> oh dear. Okay, last one. I'm not opening any more after this. This is why I don't do vanity items. Okay, that one looks okay, but it looks just it looks a bit comedic, but it looks okay. <laughs> this one's not bad. This one's not bad. I'm not, I'm not too sure about the pink uh, gun holster, but I quite like this. I like the outfit on Elena, though. Um, the reporter outfit she's got is really good, and it goes really well with the shades. What the hell, man? Didn't I already get this one? For, oh, I got this one for Marlo, didn't I? Wait, not Marlo. Wait, 
Didn't I get something very similar to this? Berry Winter Flynn. No, this one looks okay, I guess, kind of. Alright, that's the last one. I'm not opening any more of those. <laughs> so I'm going to do three hero weapons and then we'll call it a day. Alright, I'm hoping for some, uh, well, just decent variants. Doesn't matter what it is. So I've got Elena's low S, which I don't use. Not a good start. Rafe's Power 9. I've actually used Power 9 since, and I'll give you my opinions on it when I re upload the video, but a little bit disappointing, if I do say so. Not quite what I was expecting, anyway, put it that way. And another weapon that I don't use. Alright, well, I'm going to call it quits before I lose my shit. Okay, so I'll quickly show you the variants, as I always do. So what was it? The Harrison. And I got Nadine's Extended Mags and Silencer. Hmm. That's not a bad variant, I suppose. 14 points is a lot, though, for that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's the other one? The low S. Let's have a look see. What is it? Elena's low S. Oh, Recall and Extended Mags. Okay. It's not bad. As you can see, I, I don't use a weapon at all, but. Pretty much unlocked nearly all the variants. Okay, so recoil. It hasn't got a lot of recoil anyway, but I guess to make it a bit more laser, it's not too bad. And extended mags. Kind of, and what was the last one? It was. Rave's Power. 9mm. There you go. Silencer and starting ammo. I mean, as I said a little bit earlier, uh, my first impressions of it were a little bit. It, it wasn't what I was expecting, uh, considering I used it in Uncharted 3 quite a lot. Yeah, maybe the silencer. I don't know. As I said, I haven't used it too much so far, but first impressions weren't didn't blow me away or anything. So I uh, don't know. I'll try it out and I'll uh, report back. All right. So that'll do it for today's video. If you enjoyed the content, consider tapping the like button. I really appreciate it. And uh, if you've got any thoughts you'd like to share with me regarding any of the chests I opened or any of the chests in general, I mean, how do you feel about this new price reduction? I think it's quite good, but because they've added so many, because each character has, as I said, their own set of um, colours. And then they've added that for each character into the, the DLC pool. That's now increased it by well over. Like, I think that's got to be at least 200 something plus variants now. Which is why they've reduced the price of the chest. But, I mean, I don't really care for stuff like that. Like, the colour variants. Especially, I mean, like, there's only like two colour variants out of the whole list that I actually think I want for any of the characters. Um, and so that's a lot of other stuff that I don't really need. Uh, or the stuff that I'm not particularly interested in. Um, so there is that. And I'm a little bit disappointed by the boosters um, for co-op being, you know, basically you have to pay with real world money to get them. Uh, I don't approve of that, so hopefully that changes in the future. But yeah, that's some new DLC stuff. Nothing that I particularly cared about, but <laughs> I know some of you guys and girls really enjoy uh, DLC items, so I thought I'd do those for you. Don't say I don't think about you. Alright then, so that was my first video of 2017. I uh, hope the year started off well for you all, and I hope it continues to go well or be well or, you know, however you want to look at it. Uh, but until the next video, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, take care, and I will see you later.